Even before the pandemic, America was grappling with a mental health crisis. But COVID-19 has compounded the situation. About half of Americans ages 16 to 65 said they have a mental health condition. And among those who report a condition, only about half said they're getting help or treatment. That's according to an Ad Council study conducted in May and June of 2022. Against that backdrop, the Ad Council late last year launched a $65 million multi-year mental health initiative, the largest in the Ad Council's 81-year history. Top companies like Meta, NBC Universal, and Paramount are supporting the initiative in donated media time and space, as well as creating original content to raise awareness. The wide-ranging effort underscores the need among brands and organizations to bolster their mental health and wellness initiatives, both internally and externally. But the messaging must be accompanied by legitimate resources and a long-term commitment. In the last 18 months or so, several brands have responded proactively on the mental health and wellness front. For example, CVS Health, Walgreens, and Walmart have introduced counseling services either within or near their networks of stores. In late 2021, CVS debuted a $25 million ad campaign titled Healthier Happens Together. The campaign offers awareness guides for people to identify the symptoms of depression and anxiety, and it connects those in need with counseling services at CVS Health Outlets. The moves come amid the so-called Amazonification of healthcare. That's according to Dentsu's Health 2030 report. As more and more brands make additional telemedicine and digital options available to make it easier for people to access mental health care. Automation, increasingly fueled by generative AI, is all well and good. But to support people with mental health requires a human touch. Marketers must exercise caution and be careful that their messaging regarding mental health care doesn't come off as tone deaf. Don't defer to the algorithm. The stakes are too high. It's a delicate balance. The fact that only about half of people who have a mental health care condition are seeking help shows that there's still a significant stigma associated with mental health care. The onus is on marketers to break down the barriers and normalize the care that people need for mental health care in the same vein that people seek out care for their physical ailments. Heidi Arthur, chief campaign officer at the Ad Council and a recent guest on the a and Champions of Growth podcast, offers three ways for how marketers can enhance their mental health campaigns. One, practice empathy. Marketers must constantly listen and understand the changing landscape and all the touch points that impact mental health, including economic hardship, isolation, and social media. They must get into the field. Number two, tailor audience-specific messaging. One size doesn't fit all when it comes to addressing mental health. It's critical to customize your messages to truly reflect cultural nuances and to build trust with your various audiences. Number three, encourage collaboration. Be as inclusive as possible. Engage mental health experts. There's strength in numbers, and companies generate better outcomes when they harness the power of others across media, brands, government institutions, and public health. Arthur adds that picking a messenger is critical. You need spokespeople who have a meaningful connection to your audiences and may even have their own story to tell about how mental health has affected their lives personally. Advertising has to be relatable in order to work, of course, but it's essential when addressing an issue as serious as mental health. The messaging has to be clear, with an open heart, and not hesitate to tackle subjects that were previously considered taboo. Marketers have a key role to play in getting things done. And the sooner they act, the better, because this is an issue that's trending in the wrong direction. For the ANA Champions of Growth podcast, I'm Matthew Schwartz.